Hey Roamers, it's Jamie back at you. What we got going today is we're going to be installing the Halo View BT12 camera system. So it has a camera in the back and also one in the front using just one monitor. So I'm going to go over that. I'm going to do an unboxing and also show you the install and then show you how it works. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the system that we're currently using and show you how this new BT-12 is going to be a huge upgrade. So these are the systems that we're currently using. We're using this backup camera and then we're also using this dash cam camera right here. So they're two separate systems um, and two separate uh, video cards. So the cool thing about the BT-12 is it's all in one system. Here's everything that came in the box. We got our monitor all your connection cables we got a suction cup mount you can either mount that on your dash or you can mount it on the windshield we got the uh, dash cam we got the rear cam and then we got the smart box which communicates with your cameras your, your antennas for your smart box and also your rear camera and then these are different uh, mounting bases that they also send you the thing that's going to be really nice about the upgrade with this BT-12 system is that I'm going to only have one system, everything's going to record to one video card, and I can watch everything on the one monitor. So that's going to work out really well. Just for full disclosure, I did want to tell you that Halo View did reach out to us, asked us if they, if they could send us this system, install it, and test it out and see what our thoughts were. Initially, I thought, hey, I already have a backup system, but once I read into this, I said, hey, this is going to work out really well. I'll have everything in one unit, and that would be great. So I just wanted to let you know they did send us the unit. Let's go ahead and get this thing installed. What am I going to start with is I'm going to start with the rear camera, bringing that that's going to be the hardest part of this whole setup. They send you a backing plate, and what that does, if you notice, there's a hole here to accommodate for the wire. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to be using it that way. So I want to put this backing plate, and you can see it has a hole in here to accommodate your wires. So I'm just going to put that on there, and it slides in like so, and it fills up that hole that we had there. So I'm just going to screw that back on there, and then I'm going to put my rubber, they include a rubber piece here that goes on the back for a water, uh, watertight seal. So I'm going to put that on as well. So first I'm going to screw this backing plate on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through my rubber piece here. And that just sits on there like that. So now what I need to do is I need to go remove my old camera and then um, wire this thing up. The other thing that they include is this wire piece here so it has a connector like this on the one end and this on the other and it just slides in like this you can see there's like a little slot in there so you line that up and you just twist it and lock it in place and then uh, they have the wiring all I'm gonna be using is the red and the black wire I'm not gonna be using the green that's basically a trigger wire. A lot of motorhomes, when you put them in reverse, it automatically kicks in a backup camera, and you can set this up to work that way as well. So if you were, say, threw it in reverse, you were backing into a spot, it would automatically kick the camera on. Being that I'm going to be having it on all the time, I don't really need that, so I'm not going to be utilizing that. What I've done is I've removed my old camera, and I've cleaned up the space all here to accommodate the new camera. And I have my wires. I have my, it's a red wire and a white wire. On the halo view, it's red and black. So the red's going to go to the red, black's going to go to the white. And like I said, we're not using the green wire because that's just a trigger wire for if you just wanted to use it as a backup camera and, and not on all the time. So I'm going to wire up my red. So I'm going to put a wire nut on it, and then I'm going to tape it so that the wire nut doesn't back off. Okay, that's nice and tight. So I'm going to take some electrical tape and I'm going to tape that off. And you want to put it on the wire and also on the wire nut. That way it won't pull loose. 
Okay, so I have the red wire done. Now I'm going to do the black and the white. Then I'm going to put my wire nut on and tape it off again. Okay, so the red and the black are all wired up. So there's green wire down here where this connects into where the camera wire is. I don't want that touching anything being that there's power going through it now. I don't want it touching anything and causing a, a short. So I'm going to tape it off to this black wire here just to be safe that we don't have anything shorting out. And we have this connector and it basically goes into this connector on the, on the, uh, on the camera here. You slide it in and you twist and it locks itself in. What I'm doing now is I'm just taking some tape and putting it over both of my connections so it's kind of uh, a little bit more waterproof. So I'm just running some electrical tape over that and then I'm going to push that back inside the hole in uh, the RV here. The other thing that I'm going to do is where this connection goes. I'm going to put some tape on there. Uh, because it's going to be inside here, I don't want it coming apart and causing any issues. So I'm just going to put some tape there so it doesn't come apart. Now when you mount the front dash cam, it has that 3M real sticky adhesive for the mount for the dash cam. They give you these plastic films to actually stick on the windshield and then you stick your 3M double stick that's part of the mount onto this so that when you, if you have to have the, say the windshield cleaned or the windshield change it out, you pull the plastic off and that way you don't have that 3M sticky stuff stuck to your windshield. So they give you two of these, they give you, I put one on already, I have an extra one just in case. So now I have the, both cameras all set up. I've done all of my wiring. Uh, I haven't hidden any of my wires away. I've just plugged them all in so that I know that my cameras are gonna show up on my monitor and everything's set up. The next thing I wanted to go over is I wanted to go over the smart box. So this is your smart box and I have that wired in and it's plugged into a 12 volt source. Uh, the other thing that's really cool about it is you have some uh, plugins here, USB plugins. So if you need to like charge, charge a phone or something of that nature, you have those there. Um, and you can see it has a green light on right now, so it's all powered up, and the the rear camera has been uh, paired to it. So coming out of our smart box, we have it's a power filter. And that power filter goes to the monitor, and that's what this is the line that powers that and then you also have a line that goes for the rear camera and for the front camera and these are this line here is the line now the rear camera is wireless so we don't have to worry about that the front camera has this wire that I have running up to the front where the windshield is I still have to tuck all these away roll them up nicely and tuck them all away but that's the initial setup with the wires. And then uh, the smart box also came with these antennas to connect with our rear camera. So I have those screwed in. And then, uh, like I said, all the power, all these lines run into the monitor. So mine's all paired up. I'm just gonna show you a couple up. You can turn it off right here. So if you wanted to power it down, you could power it down right here. And then there's this button that says N and P. The N, I forget what the N stands for, but that's what we want for the United States and Canada and stuff like that. If you hit P, that's gonna be for over like in Europe or whatever. The other thing that's on this link button is a, you can see a little flash, looks like a little flash bulb. That's actually an LED light that's on the back camera. So if at night, say you're backing up or something and you would need a bright light, you could go ahead and hit that button and it'll have a light that'll it'll be really bright for you and you'll be able to back up. Um, so what this thing does, it actually uh, it changes the screen. So I'm going to go in. So we got our cameras showing right now. So there's our front camera and there's our rear camera. And if I hit this button right here, it flips them. The reason it flips them is say you're using this on a, on a rear view mirror on your truck and you're towing a fifth wheel or a trailer. You can flip that so that it, it will be in a mode where because, because you have a, 
you have a mount that you can mount it on the back of your rear view mirror, you can adjust that. So if you need to flip it, you can flip it with that button. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back home and I'm going to talk about a few of these features. So the drive recording is basically your cameras. And when you hit that, it automatically records. It's recording everything in the front camera and also the rear camera. The system has CarPlay. That's for iPhones. And then it also has a version for Android. If you want to hook that up, you want to go into the Bluetooth section here and you want to see what the device name is, what the equipment name is. So we go back home, we go into CarPlay, so it, now it shows it on my phone, shows it right here, I'm going to hit that and it's going to ask me if I want to connect that. And then you have that same version like I said for Android phones and then replay if you, it's going to show you all of your videos over here. It also records the audio, anything that's going on inside uh, the vehicle as you're driving. So it'll record, you can shut that off if you like, but it'll also record what's going on on the inside of the cabinet as you're driving down the road. So another thing that I forgot to mention on the touch screen here is uh, when you touch it, you can see where you can uh, hit stop recording uh, you could take a picture if you want because there's a camera. Okay. I, I had voice recording on, so it just took a picture for me. Okay. <laughs> I did it again. And then there's a lock, so you can actually lock it if you want to. And then there's this circular with two arrows, which looks like two one-sided arrows. And if you hit that button, you're going to get two screens. You hit it again, you'll get the front screen. Hit it again, you'll get only the rear screen. And you hit it again, you're back to the two screens. And then there's a house on there, and the house is the home button. Take you back home. And this is your home page. But when you're driving, you're always going to want to be in drive, driving recording. So that's going, to sh that's going to be recording as you're going down the road. Uh, and that's the main reason we wanted this whole system. So that's how we set it all up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take it on the road and see how this thing works out. After using it a few times, the HaloView BT12 wireless camera system is a fantastic upgrade for RV travel safety, especially when we're towing. 
I like that you can see both cameras on one monitor and everything is recorded to one video chip. Recorded videos are easy to access on the monitor or I can put the chip into my computer and watch them on a larger screen. We only recommend products that we use and approve of and we also ask HaloView if we can get a discount code that we could pass along to you. For more information on HaloView products use the links down in the video description and the 5% discount code Roaming with Rosie. When you use our links, we will receive a small commission that helps support the production of these videos. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and sharing, and as always, make sure to leave a comment. That way you could be part of the conversation. Till next time, we'll see ya.